data from California EPA confirming aluminum contamination in waterways throughout California. This is from Cal EPA. There's about 26 lab tests in here confirming that there is aluminum barium strontium in our air, what we're all breathing here, we're all exposed to. We face a lot of legitimate challenges here. I agree with you. I agree with uh, a lot of points brought up, but I would ask anybody in the room, what challenges will we face if we're inhaling aluminum on a day-in, day-out basis? If our streams are contaminated with aluminum, how can we prepare when our soils no longer grow properly, when we have a UV issue that's off the charts? So when we have Cal EPA stating that this is not in their jurisdiction, these climate modification programs that are absolutely going on, we have CARB saying not in their jurisdiction, Shasta County saying not in their jurisdiction, um, I would like to ask, since we know maybe these programs... Maybe, maybe the federal EPA, because they're trying to take over every mud puddle and ditch and backyard pond in the it. world, so part of maybe it. somebody will find it. Right? It is part of it. Water rights are being pursued, and we know the drought is a 2 plus 2 equals 4 equation. We have the, the, the satellite imagery to prove it up. So I'm going to hand this data off to you. I have a copy for you and for your staff. My question would be this. Since nobody, everybody is passing the buck here, will your office address the fact that we have an absolute positively like a heavy metal contamination issue that cannot be disputed, it's a public health hazard. We have a, a UV radiation issue that's so intense it's burning the bark off of trees. All appear to be related to these pro climate modification programs, but these issues are indisputable public health hazards. Since nobody else will address it, will your office address it? So we have the issue of climate engineering, and semantics are important. The, too much at media and other officials, not saying this board, they've been very courteous, but have not used the scientific terms, and this is, this is not used for a reason, because uh, the, the term chemtrails is not a scientific term, so we try to avoid those terms. But when you see CBS News, geoengineering to fight, go fight global warming is now mainstream topic conversation with all scientific organizations and with governmental officials, such as John Holdren, Obama's science advisor, who is actively advocating for the use of geoengineering. And again, this is, these are aspects that media does not cover because this would legitimize this issue. This would bring credibility to it. So we do have, again, science data that's it's too extensive to document here, but when we have current administration officials advocating for these programs and the immediate need to implement these programs, this subject should not be marginalized as it typically is by media. When we have... This is, this is from MIT. This diagram is from MIT where you clearly see an aircraft spraying particulates out the back. Now, again, this is mainstream scientific discussion. We have every major science institution talking about these issues right now, that, that these programs must be implemented. And so, again, when, what we ask is that this issue be given attention. And our point here today, irregardless of where the contamination is coming from over Shasta County and the rest of the globe, we ask that the science be looked at and, and that the legitimacy of this issue be acknowledged with the science terms, that this is brought to public attention and brought into a public dialogue. This is, again, only the tip of the iceberg for what's available for documentation. This is a 40-page congressional research document, Geoengineering Governance and Technology. There's a, a number of documents like this. We have, even going back to the 60s, for example, we have 80-page presidential documents outlining the scope and scale of these programs even back that far. You see skies like this. Certainly, we have a lot of people telling us this is normal commercial traffic. It is, this, is, this is normal.